Okay, so yeah, I initially wanted to start with this slide because it's like everyone has seen this. It comes at the end of a movie, and if you are in a theater, like you will leave the theater, or if you are in a, or watching it on a laptop or something, you just stop watching at this point, and you won't sit through the credits. I feel so. If if any of you have like ever seen or like sat through the entire credits of a film, I think it goes for like ten minutes minimum, and there are like multiple departments like. There are like departments like security, ironing clothes, uh, various departments. I would say, and but that's because filmmaking as an art form, it's a it's a team team effort all in all. Like whether you're making like a small five minute short film or like some big budget film, it's a team effort. Like oh, I know, like in recent years, like a lot of like one person crew kind of stuff has emerged. But it, all in all, it's a group effort. I would say, and there are like multiple departments that work. to make to even to make like a 30 second commercial i would say and that brings me to this is something uh, a film set or like a proper set would look like if you ever have if you ever visit a set uh, and there are like multiple departments multiple people have like so, like very specific jobs and in all of these uh, these are i feel like the main departments obviously you have the production and the director but a director has to work with a director of photography a sound a sound designer a production designer and editor now these are like major departments that like itna minimum to chahiye if you want to make something sensible like obviously a director can do multiple jobs but, but i think once uh, i talk about cinematography in detail you will realize like if cinematography has like this much stuff then similarly like sound designing has a lot of stuff production designing and like art direction has a lot of stuff even editing so one person can do it to a limit but not always so i think to so today we start with at least so we start with cinematography let's say so these uh, so these are the topics i intend to cover uh mostly like some topics i'll be discussing in detail some i'll just skim through so now there are like various definitions of cinematography that you will find online most of it is about like literal translation of the word cinematography something like writing with light uh, and that kind of stuff but there isn't like one proper definition like there isn't like you need to understand ki there is nothing absolutely right and nothing absolutely wrong when it comes to this art form i feel so this is something like at least my version of definition of the word cinematography it's uh, it would use certain aesthetic and technical principles to bring a director's vision to screen of a motion picture now i have used words like aesthetic technical director's vision motion picture because i feel like all these things are important to be taken into consideration when you look at your job as a cinematographer like uh, you can't be like a lone wolf ki i want to shoot certain things in a certain way you have to work for your director at the end of the day you are working for a motion picture like your camera can move your actors can move that's what makes it very different from photography or like any other similar art form so yeah so the i just intend to explore this slightly in detail in like next few slides i would feel uh, uh this also i think you should keep it in mind that it's all make believe uh cinema if you think of it it's just light falling on a screen basically it's fake but what uh, a cinematographer would do is to make it as believable as possible uh, again i think so all these things like even i when when i first started out like i i was bombarded with these definitions and stuff but it wouldn't make a lot of sense since i want to explore certain things with you guys as we move forward and then when when you come back to these definitions it would make much more sense